So basically, VeChain is a blockchain platform that's there to enhance supply chain management for business purposes. Its goal basically is to streamline the data flow from one point to another. VeChain basically has two tokens. The first one was the VeChain token works at its value layer, while the VeChain Tor Energy token works at its smart contract layer. Hey guys, so in this video, let's talk about VeChain. So before we go into a deep dive of what VeChain is, I want to share to you first what its real-world application is and what are the things that VeChain is actually disrupting. Please remember, the value of investing in cryptos is that the more game-changing the technology is, the better it will be for the long term. The more that it actually makes our lives better, the better it will be also as an investment. So you always have to think about that when you start investing. Of course, everyone knows that when you invest into a cryptocurrency, it can be a medium for exchange because you can swap it for either fiat or any other cryptocurrencies out there. But what I think makes it amazing is that what those tokens can do, what the utility of that technology can do, because the ones that have massive utility over the next few years are the ones that will be accepted, are the ones that will be used. And when massive drops would happen, there will always be a flight into something that people know that there will be either stability, aka what we see in Bitcoin, or real use aka what we've been seeing for Ethereum and also in some aspects, BNB. So that being said also, way before the crash that happened a few days ago, I've been spending a lot of time and attention in it and I've also started to accumulate bits and pieces of it. The thing about that though is when the crash happened, it allowed me to allocate more time and also more capital into it because I was able to buy it at a much lower price. So drops that happen become opportunities also for you to invest, accumulate, and stack more on the coins and tokens that you like. Every time you purchase something, either you eat something on a restaurant or you go to a grocery, how can you actually verify that whatever is in the label is actually true? So you go to your favorite restaurant and then they serve steak and then the restaurant claims that the steak that you're eating is something that's organic. There's no way for you to verify that but to take the restaurant on its word that what they are serving to you is something that's organic. In the same way, in canned goods, cereals, and everything else in between, whatever they place there, you just have to take the companies by their word that what they say is something that's true. And that, my friend, is what VeChain is trying to disrupt. They are trying to make a mechanism where everything is transparent from the farm and to every other branches that it passes to all the way to the restaurant, to the grocery, or to the table. Meaning, if you want to know if the coffee that you are drinking is something that is 100% Robusta or Arabica, that it came from Australia or New Zealand, because of VeChain, there's now a way for you to be able to validate it. Everything will be using a QR code. So think about the coffee that I've mentioned. That has a QR code that could be scanned. So each time it is scanned, it records and puts a stamp on where it actually is. So meaning you could actually verify based on that particular QR code on where it came from and where it is passing. And now here's where blockchain comes in. Every time data is inputted, every time it's scanned, everything goes into the blockchain. And for those who don't know how amazing the blockchain is, every time you see something in the blockchain, the data is transparent, meaning you see everything from point A, B, C, D, E. But not just that, it's immutable, meaning when the data is inputted in the blockchain, it's there forever. It can never be taken out. So this solves and gives transparency to all of us that the bag that you're buying, you now can verify if the leather is actually legit. The vegan meal that you're ordering, you can now also verify if it's really vegan. That has been my style over and over and over as I start investing. I look at the technology first and I see what is it actually doing 
to make our lives better. If it's something that is above and beyond purely just trading, but has legitimate use and has the ability to disrupt so many things, then it's something that's worth looking into. But please remember this though, and I say this over and over in all of my videos, no matter how much I talk about it here, never buy, sell, hold, or avoid a token just because it's discussed here. It's your money. It's your responsibility. You have to take the time to be able to learn. You have to take the time to be able to study and do a deep dive on it. So basically, VeChain is a blockchain platform that's there to enhance supply chain management for business purposes. Its goal basically is to streamline the data flow from one point to another. VeChain basically has two tokens. The first one was the token that I mentioned earlier in this video, and that has been something that I have been investing on, dabbling in, and accumulating in. It's the VeChain token or VET. But it also has a second token, the VeChain Tor Energy, which acts as its gas. The VeChain token works at its value layer, while the VeChain Tor Energy token works at its smart contract layer. So basically, VET is the primary storer of value in the VeChain network. Think about it as smart money, as a carrier of value. However, what's interesting about that is for you to be able to use VET in their system, you need to pay gas fees, which for VeChain is their VTHO, which is their Tor Energy token. For those who are using the Ethereum network, you already know that you could use ETH also to pay gas fees. Um, the difference though when you are using ETH is the price of Ethereum or the price of ETH fluctuates. The more expensive ETH is, the more expensive also the gas fees that you would actually pay. I guess an equivalent that you have for the VTHO is NEO you have a fixed rate that you pay every time you transact using VET. While VET though is using a proof of authority type of consensus, which is, in my opinion, anytime you go away from a proof of work type of mechanism, it becomes cheaper, it becomes more efficient, and it becomes faster. Please remember for Bitcoin, all the nodes must come into a consensus before everything happens. For this, you just have validator nodes that will confirm which are massively lesser, which allows the transactions also to be faster. So by the time I'm making this video, the price of VET is at 0 0.1143. It's still at the point where it's settling after the large crash that happened over the past few days. So looking at the chart that we have right here, it looks like you now that there is a support at the 0.09 level. It dipped below that from the large downward push that it had a few days ago. But right after that, it pushed up, closed above it. Then if you look at the two candlesticks right after that, it's holding that particular level. That being said, it's short-term resistance from that this particular range that we're looking at. So you have a resistance at the 0.169 level you have the candlestick below the 7 and 25 day moving average giving it a more bearish undertone v chain right now is the 20th largest token in terms of market cap it currently has a market cap of around 7.39 billion pesos from the time of this recording its current supply is capped to 86.7 billion vet as of now you have around 64 billion vet out there so this is something that's not inflationary as there would be only a limited supply of VET that would be available forever. Now looking at VTHO, its current price right now is 0 0.01127 and it's currently the 127th ranked token in terms of market cap right now. And looking at the chart right now, it seems that it's building a base at least from the time of this video at the 0 0.08 support level. and. It's building also a resistance level at the 0.012 level as well. And while we're filming this, it's still hovering below the 7, 25, and 99 day moving average. So a couple of things that I like about VeChain is what I've mentioned in the start of the video is that it's not just that you can track it, but because it's in the blockchain, you get to see the data in real time. And what's more interesting about that is the founder of VeChain is Sunny Lu, the former CTO of Louis Vuitton. So in my opinion, it gives him not just also the technology part of it, but working for one of the biggest brands that supplies bags and different types of apparel and merchandise all across the world. He knows 
the issues and problems in terms of supply chain. And I think that business sense, coupled by his technology background, married together, gives him the credentials to be able to build something that's so interesting as this. So the VeChain Tor blockchain uses a proof of authority consensus protocol that votes are distributed based on the number of VET that you actually own. So there are around 101 master nodes that are responsible for reaching a consensus in the blockchain, which is so different from what's happening in Bitcoin where every node in the transaction needs to verify it for the transaction to pull through. This makes the transaction of VeChain faster, but not just faster, more efficient, and also makes it more energy efficient. This is just a very, very short and quick basic background information of VeChain, but I'm gonna do more about it. And just to summarize everything that I said, this is something that will make things efficient and transparent for people who want to know the origin and the background of the things that they're purchasing. It gives a bit of transparency also. It protects consumers and different types of businesses from actually purchasing and buying fakes. So there, I hope you guys got a lot from this. Do let me know if VeChain is something that you own, VeChain is something that's interesting to you, and VeChain is something that has some real world application that you think will be very, very useful as we continue to develop and move along all of this. If you guys have more questions about VeChain, the tokenomics, the charts, and even its use, put them in the comment section below and I'm going to try to make videos for you guys about it. I just want to invite you, we have a technical analysis course, we have a technical analysis session which is happening this July where we're going to talk about candlesticks, moving averages, MACD, ADX, and so much more. So if you want to join us there, the links are in the description below for you to be able to join us and everything will be online, everything will be via Zoom, Everything can be done wherever you are in the world. And that being said, I'd like to invite you to Investment Conference 2021. It's the largest conference in the country where we feature different speakers from former BSP Deputy Governor Diwa Gunibundo. We also have one of the greatest minds in property investing, David Lee Chu. And we have massive investor and the CEO of Ramp for financials, Rex Mendoza, and a variety of other speakers that's happening already next week. So if you want to join us, look at the link in the description below, Icon 2021, and join us for two straight days where we have 14 speakers sharing their insights on investing. For those who like what I'm saying about VeChain, about the VeChain Tor Energy Token, and want to invest in the cryptocurrency market, in the description below, we have Binance. It's one of the largest exchanges in the world that's so easy to use that I like using it as well. Check it out. Links are in the description below. It allows you to sign up and allows you to open just by using your phone as well. I have written books about investing uh, in the stock market. If you want to learn more on how you can invest and how you can trade and how you can use either fundamentals or technicals, check out the links in the description below for the books that I've written out. So I guess that's it for now. I hope that this is something that's helpful. I hope that this is something that gave you insight and understanding in the world of cryptocurrencies. I know we've been doing a lot of crypto content lately, but it's been so fascinating for me. I'm just so addicted by it. And whatever you see here is also just a reflection of the time and effort that I am placing also into the cryptocurrency space. Because I really believe that we're still early. I really believe that if you know what you're getting into and you're spending a lot of time to learn more about it, that's what will allow you to double down and put more. And that's what cost me also to double down when we saw the markets dip and drop a couple of days ago. That for me, I saw it as a discount. For me, I saw it so time for me to start to accumulate. And I'll say this over and over and over again. In times like this, it's all about building a base. It's all about creating and having large amounts of volume that will massively, massively, massively help you. So there, I hope that this is something that's insightful. I hope that this is something that's helping you. This is Marvin Germo. I hope this video helps you trade well, trade strong, trade smart. See you all again soon, guys, and God bless you all.